Okay, so I have my checklist here, and then I just put all the stuff that I think that I'm going to need or that I'm using in just boxes right here and here, which I'm just going to spill out, and here is the empty vanity case. I'm going to start pulling everything out, everything I think I might need. I advise to just, wherever your beauty station or your vanity or your desk, just grab an empty box and start chucking stuff kind of in the order that you do your makeup in. Now I'm starting off with the face portion. And first on the list is primer. Um, I don't really use primer all too much and if they are primers they're hydrating and moisturizing. Take that off. Uh, base. I normally you go with what you're comfortable with depending on where you're going on vacation. Um, whether it's warm or it's cold, I guess it, it's really up to the climate, but um, I'm going on a warmer vacation, so I would bring something like a CC cream, like the Chanel one, which is nice. And then for foundation, the Charlotte Tilbury is nice. It's very lightweight, so that's a good option to have. I always bring two, like a foundation and something for every day. If you're on the beach, you're not really going to wear foundation all too, too much, or at least I won't. So um, I just have two different options just in case. So I will check that off. And then concealer, I will bring along two just because I use one for under the eye and one on blemishes. So I have the Chanel one and the Urban Decay one. But again, up to you. So check that off. Then for bronzer, um, I always say if you have like a bigger bronzer compact or like one of those compacts that have, um, I know Tarte do them, they do the bronzer, blush, eyeshadows all in like one compact and you get like a gigantic mirror which is good. Um, so I don't have to bring a mirror with me because of how big the Tom Ford one is. So that I'm just going to slide it here into this pocket check that off and then blush highlight highlight I'm bringing a cream one I just like creams when it's warmer weather and I don't feel like powdering or looking powder I just want to look extra glowy and dewy and if I'm going to be tanning my skin doesn't really need too too much coverage so the Becca shimmering skin perfector is a really nice one and then for blush it's up to you. I have a powder or a cream. Um, I would probably go with the cream. So would put that right there in that pocket. Check that off. And then powder. I always have to powder. So I would advise to just bring something in a compact, not like a loose powder. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury one. This one's great. And I can just slide that in there and then you're done with the face. So the face would go into these two compartments here. Next would be eyes and then primer. If you use it, it's entirely up to you. I have to, so I just use the NARS one. I swear by it. Um, a shadow stick I have next on the list, which is great. Uh, they're super easy to apply, no fuss. Um, when I'm away, I can't really be bothered with makeup, but I still want to look put together. So I find that these are wonderful. And by Terry do awesome one, like almost every brand does. But these, uh, I wanted to note these Marc Jacob ones, the Twinkle Pop ones, they have some type of cooling effect to them. So if you are away on a warm vacation, this would be really nice and soothing for the eyes. Next, eye palette. I always say bring something with a bunch of neutrals that you can create a crap load of looks if you were gonna be elaborate. I would be enough with the two cream sticks, but you never know if you just wanna pop something in the crease. And I like having options, so the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette fits perfectly into this little compartment. And I would check that off. Next is eyeliner. So it would be liquid or pencil, whatever form of eyeliner you use. 
Next would be mascara, and then the last four eyes I put it in the eye category would be a brow product. This, I actually would take it onto the flight so I wouldn't have to pack it in here. So moving on to lips, and first up I have lip balm, and for that I'd say the GlossierBalm.com is a really good one, and it's also good for your cuticles, um, on elbows or scratches or anything like that. So it's a really good multitasking product. So I'll dump that in there. Lip liner, maybe if I feel like it. Um, Iconic Nude, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. These are good neutral ones to use. When it comes to lipsticks, I always swear by a balm, a nude, a bold, and a red. Okay, so makeup is pretty much done. Uh, next would be hair, so shampoo and conditioner. I have these tiny Orbe Signature Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, you can purchase these, I believe, off of Space NK's website, along with the only probably hair styling product that I would bring is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray, and this is the purse size. Now, hair ties and bobby pins. Um, I always say keep like pouches that um, your makeup comes in. And here are some hair pins. I would throw in some hair ties in here just so that they're not loose or shaking around. So I'll set that off to the side. And then a brush or a comb. Uh, I use a comb. For the body, I have shaving gel. I normally use the Laxatan almond oil, or is this the almond shower oil? I'm sorry. And this is perfect for shaving your legs and uh, it's the only thing that I find that helps because I get really, really bad razor burn. And this is, my legs are super soft, they're moisturized afterwards, and it just gives me a nice, clean, even shave. So I have a tiny little bottle, which you can purchase at Sephora. Venus do this cute little tiny um, travel razor which is cute and it comes in its own little case so it's not floating around and getting dirty or grimy and you can just stick it back in there. As for moisturizer, my skincare is going into my carry-on so I'm not packing all of my skincare items in here just because I'm using it for my in-flight routine so stay tuned for that video which should be up sometime this week. Off perfume um, these little tiny samples that you get with um, purchases or orders, hang on to them because they come in. They come really useful. Or if you get like a deluxe um, perfume size, like these are from Jo Malone. These are awesome. And if you didn't, maybe you should get something called these are Travelos, and you can take whichever perfume you use at the house. Um, you would take this little top off and just pump it a couple of times. I know it sounds funny, but it has a little device at the end of it. And this little bar or this window will fill up with all of the perfume that you, um, you know, whichever one you want to take with you. Maybe like a, a body cream or a body SPF. I have this one from Kate Somerville and this has SPF 20 but it's really hydrating and it also has an illuminating um, you know, finish to it. It's not chunky. I don't like chunky shimmer or body oils. It's just a really nice sheen on the skin. So with a tan, it'll look really nice. It'll just give you a nice glow on the uh, legs and it smells, it smells really, really good. But this from Kate Somerville, I love this stuff. So I would chuck that in there. And then I also have another body oil. And this one's nice because it's you can use it on the hair, you can use it on the face, body. Uh, it's like a multi-purpose oil. And this one's from Caudalie, or Caudalie. I don't know how to pronounce the brand. I also had something extra to toss in there when it comes to body. And this is the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. Um, this is probably how I would take off my makeup at night and I do love that it has that cooling effect to it so if you are away in a warmer place um, this will do really really nicely and again from Sephora I think it was like 10 bucks for this tiny little bottle 
some makeup wipes. These are just from Neutrogena. Now for tools, I have Q-tips, and this is in this tiny little Muji container. Um, I think it's called it's called the PP Portable PP. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm stupid. Anyway, uh, PP Portable case, and the measurements are 37 by 100 by 12 millimeters. I'll put the link down below, but inside I just have some of my Muji cotton buds. Next would be sponges or whatnot. I use a beauty blender, so and it goes. So a Mac 217, or actually two 217s, a Mac 239, and a Mac 224 to take care of all of my eye blending issues. And then for uh, the face, I would only bring the like a all over setting powder brush and this one's a smaller one this one's from Wayne Goss and I would set my teeth up with this one and then something like a kabuki brush or like the NARS Yachio brush but this one I like this one's a deluxe kabuki brush from Ray Morris and I could do blush bronzer highlight everything with this brush although even though they're cream products but um, if you opted for powder products it would work for all of those things these would just there's some brush slots here so and here's the like protective sleeve to go over them your eyelash curlers and then my tweezers I would probably throw them in here so you're pretty much covered with everything we ticked everything off um, normally you would just chuck this but I say to hang on to it and just fold it up and stick it here in the bag. Now I say this because before you go to leave you want to double check and make sure that all of the items that you did bring are still in here. I can't tell you how many times I've left things in like hotel rooms and have lost things so just double check yourself and make sure all of the products that you brought with you are back in the case. So everything fits nice and compact in here. Nothing's shifting around or that you have to be fearful that something's gonna break. Everything is tight. If you wanted to reassure yourself or just for some added protection, you can stuff a blanket or something in here or like a t-shirt that you're gonna wear or maybe your bathing suit top so, so that nothing really shifts around. But the bag itself is pretty sturdy. So just want to zip that close and that's pretty much it.